Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Perhaps, but desalination plants are turning that phrase on its head. We've seen water's relentless path from glaciers and snow melt into mighty rivers. Eventually, all that fresh water finds its way to the ocean. So why are the oceans, which make up 97% of the world's water, too salty to drink? The oceans have become salty because as rainwater and wind power and other forces erode the land, which is basically just a collection of rocks, and as those materials come apart, their chemical constituents run down into the ocean, and they reside there. Many of these minerals are salts, including chloride, magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Over hundreds of millions of years, the oceans have gradually become saltier as the sun's heat vaporizes fresh water through evaporation. The water keeps cycling through, but the salt stays behind and accumulates. But human beings have found a way to make seawater drinkable and even tasty. It's called desalination. This is Tampa Bay Water's desalination plant, the largest plant of its kind in the United States. You're not seeing the rains we used to get, so there's a lot of drought going on. So we're taking seawater from the bay here in Tampa, and we're taking all the salt out of it, and we're using it for potable drinking water for our region's needs. Every day, the Tampa plant sucks up 44 million gallons of seawater from a nearby power plant, where it's used to cool the coal-burning boilers. This is where the raw seawater is entering our plants, coming from the power plant. This is the first stage of our pretreatment process. And what we do here is we add some chemicals, sodium hypochlorite and ferric chloride. The sodium hypochlorite is common bleach. We're trying to get the particles to settle and collect together, get heavy, and settle to the bottom. After screens filter out shells and other larger debris, the water passes through these sand filters. The grains of sand filter out some particulates and some of the salt. The water passes through another set of filters, which remove even smaller particles. But how do you remove all of that dissolved salt? The Tampa plant uses a high-powered version of reverse osmosis. The salty water is blasted with great pressure, 1,000 pounds per square inch through rolls composed of thin membranes, each one outfitted with pores that are one one hundred thousandth the diameter of a human hair. That's how small it is to capture these salt particles. And the pure drinking water eventually gets to the center, and that's the water we're gonna drink. 